Hey, welcome to another blog. It's September 25, 2020, and today we're going to talk about the 200,000 plus lives lost from the coronavirus, and is it going to affect the 2020 election? So, the number one issue would be why the downplay? The obvious reason for the downplay of the numbers is a psychological strategy so that the population doesn't feel like it's a big deal. However, this is something too great to ignore because people are just going to compare the actual numbers of 2,000 lives lost from 9-11 versus 200,000 of coronavirus. That is pretty obvious that there is a collapse in handling of the public health crisis. People are also going to compare the numbers of four Benghazi lives lost versus the 1,000 plus lives of veterans lost in the pandemic. So the extreme right wing will try to downplay, but this is just too great to ignore. So I think safety is a big topic in this next election. That's our worrisome for many conservatives. Psychologically speaking, people do live in fear when they stress on saying, open quote, don't live in fear, close quote. The right-wing extremist media and population is really worried, which is why more than half of them is not going to vote for another Trump term. Many conservatives are campaigning for Trump, but really are voting for Biden in the ballot, just so they don't get pressured or humiliated if ever Trump succeeds in cheating the office. Many wise conservatives know that their lives and their family are also at stake, so they're not going to be willing to give Trump his second term, which is why many of them have joined the Lincoln Project to restore what was once the real conservative ideology. So let's define conservative. Is it really trying to conserve the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness? What life are we conserving when our family and friends are dying from coronavirus because of public health endangerment and misinformation? Holding political rallies and ignoring public health guidelines is definitely a slap in the face to many people that are trying to be safe for their families. Baby boomer conservatives are supposedly to enjoy the last 20 to 30 years of their remaining lives or retirement, traveling and spending their dollars in malls, theaters, entertainment, and grandkids. Instead, they spend the remaining of their lives trapped in their homes because the current fearless leader ignores public health safety guidelines. Even worse, you know, baby boomers spending the rest of their uh, retirement income on hospital hospitalization cost is uh, another big issue for them. Basically, many conservatives heed too many promises that have been broken, and they just can't wait for this to be over. So the gra- the greatest worry is misinformation. Back in March, the genius leader of America announced on public television that he he was so sure that this virus will go away from the heat. It's now fall and the virus is not slowing down. Why? Because the herd immunity is not working from this virus. Florida has been anti-mask from the outbreak in March. Florida is now the third highest death of coronavirus in the nation next to New York and California. Now, Florida just reopened all to normal without masks and distancing. It's possible that Florida may surpass the death numbers of New York. Back in March, the genius leader said there will be a vaccine within six months by repeatedly ignores the standard medical practice that it could take 12 to 18 months for proper safety testing of the vaccine. By the way, the the numbers for the coronavirus death, you can see that at uh, worldometers.com. 
So uh, you can see the graphs are still steadily, steadily, steadily going upward in a steady um, increase slope. So uh, we're only in the fall and we're beginning to go into the cold season and that could get worse for the US if we don't follow the necessary guidelines. So the fact is that there were just too many promises made but no signs of improvement. It's just human nature that parents and people in general will no longer support the insane rhetoric of the genius leader to protect their children and their aging parents. So what's the probability in this election of 2020? Well, tell you the truth, it's difficult to predict this outcome. Every time I had predicted the election in the past, all my guesses were wrong. My prediction really is that the genius con leader could win this again because he has so many tricks up his sleeves. This is driving everybody crazy. Um, all I know is that Christians can also be hypocrites when it comes to like, hey, in your face, I'm going to vote for you. You know, they could be just messing with the genius con leader. You know, all we know is that there are so many forces that are out there all against each other. The Russians, Chinese, Brits, Australians, Indians, and Iranians fighting for the flow of information. Uh, nobody really knows what is going to happen. If, you know, Trump wins, you know, we know... I know something was done, you know, behind the scene, but am I going to accept it? Who well, I might say, but it's uh, my opinion. It could be, uh, it could be Biden as well, and many people will protest against that. So I just hope when this is. Uh, all taking place, we're all going to be at peace. When I mean peace, it's like no protests, like let's move forward, let's try the other way around. And, um, you know, just be all helpful Americans. All right, thanks for listening. And if you have any comments, uh, Feel free to put it in. Someone is going to um, read your comments, so be nice. Bye. Till the next vlog.